All right, I'm going to be demonstrating a method for making roof tiles or roof shingles. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. Well, relatively simple, and it's a lot easier than drawing them by hand. It gives you a nice hand-drawn look. First thing to do is create a rectangle. Uh, 0.15 inches times 0.45 inches, so it's a three-to-one ratio, three times as high as it is wide, and then a second one that is half that width, so 0.075 wide. So we have our two rectangles here. What we're going to do is no outline, solid black, good way to start. We're going to then round the corners a little bit, stylized, round corners, 0 0.02 inches. Gives a nice little rounded corner. Then we need to expand appearance to make the anchors match the shape. So we got these two nice shapes. We also need a straight up and down line, uh, about 0.5 points wide, and then we're going to expand that up, that one too. Expand it. So now we have three shapes. They're all solid. What we're going to do is we're going to take the larger two shapes, put them into our swatches. We're going to name them wide and narrow, because we're going to be referencing them. We're going to take the long skinny line and we're going to make a scatter brush out of it. We're going to set random, all these things to random, all four. Size, we're going to say 25 to 100 percent. Spacing, we're going to say 5 to 10 percent. Scatter, minus, uh, let's go minus 50 to 50. Rotation, minus 3 to 3. Okay, this thing, not that we need it anymore. Um, so we have this scatter brush. Let's test the scatter brush. So make a line. This large rectangle here is where, what we're going to be filling with our uh, with our shingles. Well, here's a here's a basic scatter. You keep clicking on the brush, and it re-randomizes everything, so you can get some pretty nice uh, lines. That's great. The next thing we're going to do easier if you just select the, the wide one. We're going to create a new pattern brush. We're actually going to create two. The first one we'll just have the wide uh, swatch in this section. We're going to call it wide up here. The next one, we're going to create another pattern brush and on the two ends we're going to use the narrow. And we're going to call this narrow. Alright, so basically we're done with these things now. And it's time to start creating our rows of shingles. Now the first row the very bottom of your roof will need to be, let's use the full, the wide, and we're not going to be able to vary these up and down too terribly much because, well, you can if you want, but I like to have a fairly nice clean edge on the bottom edge. So what I'm going to do is, uh, so I create, I create a line, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to use my uh, wide brush and then I'm going to expand appearances. And then on top of that I'm going to paste, oops, control shift V, paste in place, and do the scattering. I'm going to take that and expand appearances as well. So we have our basic shingles and we have some uh, some lines above them. Now what I do with the basic shingles is they're way too regular. So first I ungroup, then I go to transform, transform each. And the settings I use are 80%, 99, just give it a little variability, 0 0.01 for horizontal, and in this case since we're doing the bottom row I'm going to leave the vertical as zero. The angle I'm going to go to 5%. I'm going to click on random. I'm going to click on preview to make sure that everything's working correctly. Hit OK. And then I go back in, transform each again, and I put in negative values so that the average, and then I set these to 100%, so 
so that the average is right around where they were to begin with. All right, so we have some nice randomized uh, roof tiles, but they're still very uniform, nice and rounded corners and everything, so let's mess those up. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Tweak. Start off with a 2% horizontal and vertical tweak. And then I go to Roughen, 1%, 10 divisions per inch, and Smooth. OK. Finally, I go to Stroke. No, we don't have a stroke. So then I go here, Object, Expand Appearances. Now our lines match the shapes. Now this is this is going to be our final shingles, so I'm going to copy those. Oops. Okay. Going to play hardball, huh? Select that, then deselect the stuff you don't want. We're going to group them. Should have done that before. Uh, what I'm going to do is copy. And then I'm going to pa paste in place, control shift V. And I'm going to isolate them. And I'm going to draw a line near the top across all of them. Now this line, we got to give it a stroke. One point is fine. We're going to expand it to make it a shape instead of just a stroke. Now this shape, along with all the rest of this, we will merge together. And now we have one giant shape that's all connected to each other. This will help us in this next step where I select that shape, all the hatching, and I crop. Come on, show, show the crop. Crop. Boom. And now our, now our hatching is all uh, within the shapes of the shingles. Let's select the shingles that were still down below. Give them a white fill and a black outline. One point's a little too thick. Let's go half a point. And we have some nice shingles. Now some of these pointies, they're a little bit too much, so what I do is I select that. Now I go here. Oh, hold on. Select them all. Change the stroke to a rounded corner. That takes the pointies and rounds them off a little bit. Looks a little nicer. Get out of isolation mode. And we have shingles and some accent lines. I take those, I group them together, and then I move them down to the bottom to get a nice, mostly clean edge. That's step one. Step two, we do the same thing. However, we use a different brush. We use <coughs> this brush. Now you'll see down here we have a full width shingle. Up here we have half width shingles on the edge, on the ends. That makes every other shingle line up over the cracks of the shingles below. Um, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put that back. Control Shift V get the hatching, do the whole thing, expand appearance, take this, ungroup, transform each, 80, 99, 0 0.01, <clears throat> this one I go 0 0.02, we get a, some uh, vertical shift, random, OK, do it again with negative values, 100, 100, Negative, negative, negative. OK. Go to Effects. Go to Distort. We'll go to Tweak. 2%, 2%. OK. Effects, Distort, Roughen. 1%, 10, Smooth. OK. Objects, Expand Appearance. Control C, we copy. Control Shift V paste, oh, wait, whoops. undo, undo that, yeah, control shift V, actually undo, 
I'm going to group these, copy them, paste them, go into that, draw the line across the top, give it a stroke, give it a width, object expand it, take all of that, merge it, go back out, click the merge, click this, crop it, Give this a white background, a black stroke of 0.5, and here we have, group these together, here we have another row of shingles, so let's bring them down. Yeah, so there we go. So now we have two rows of shingles. Oh, I didn't. Let's get in here. I forgot to round the corners. Use isolation views. And then we go back and we do the next row the same. I'll do one more for demonstration purposes. Let's see. Control C. We go with the full width here. Control V. Hatching. Highlight it all, edit, uh, object, sorry, expand appearance, go to this guy, ungroup, transform each, 80, 99, get rid of the negatives, you could do negatives first, doesn't really matter, OK, transform, transform each. 100, 100, minus, 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 OK, uh, effect, distort, tweak, 2%, 2%, OK, effect, distort, roughen, 1%, smooth, OK, group, control, copy, control, shift, V, paste, Isolation mode, run the line across the whole thing, give it a stroke, object, expand it, select all of it, merge, leave isolation mode, click that, click all your hatching, crop. Click the shingles underneath, give it a white background and a half a point black outline. Oops. Select everything, round off the corners. And we're back. Select those, group them together. Drag it down on top. And so we have another row of completely random shingles. Now these look okay, but they're a little bit flat. What I like to do, select all of them. They're grouped together right now. We ungroup them once. That means the hatching and the shingles are separate. And then we give them a drop shadow. So effect, stylize, drop shadow, 0, x offset, 0 0.01 inch, y offset, blur of 0 0.02, double, the X offset 100, make it nice and strong, black. And what this does is it gives you a drop shadow and it gives you some some uh, uh, shading on the shingle itself. And you can see that looks great. And that's basically the tutorial. You keep doing this over and over again. I'm no good at scripting, but I would imagine that there is a way to script this entire process in Illustrator. I'm no good at it. I would love to have some help if anyone knows any tips. I'm sure it would make things easy. You just draw a bunch of lines and hit the script button and boom, you just got row after row of shingles. So if anyone can help me out, give me a buzz. Uh, thanks a lot.